This is your Redskins in 60, presented by Coca-Cola. I'm Ed Cole. The Redskins offseason program continues to move at a rapid pace as the team's in the midst of their offseason training activities. Head coach Jay Gruden is encouraged by what he's seeing from his players. Yeah, I feel good. You know, I think uh, there's an adjustment period for everybody. You know, not just the new guys, but for the guys who have been here playing with the new guys. So I think that's the most important thing, get everybody on the same page, uh, figuring out everybody's strengths and weaknesses and get things corrected and go from there. Quarterback Kirk Cousins likes what's going on because he sees the team heading down a similar path that's made them successful over the past few seasons. The balance will always be, let's not reinvent the wheel. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. We moved the ball last year, so let's just do more of what we've done while also saying, how can I be better? How can I be better? I think if you want to be a great player, a great offense, you're always looking for how to improve. For all your OTA coverage, keep it right here on Redskins.com. This has been your Redskins in 60, presented by Coca-Cola. This is your Redskins in 60, presented by Coca-Cola. I'm Ed Cole. Chris Thompson was an extremely strong and versatile asset for the Redskins last season, and someone head coach Jay Gruden wants to feature more this season. Chris Thompson's role is big. You know, when you're talking about third downs, it's the most important down in football, third down red zone. We talk about situational football, and there's nobody better as a third down back, in my opinion, than Chris. So uh, he's got a huge role in his football team. With OTAs taking place this week, Thompson's excited that things are moving toward what he believes will be a big season for the Redskins. We know how good we can be. It's just a matter of, of putting it together and, um, you know, getting past that hump of, of, you know, not passing the first round, get through these games. We know um, we have the potential to, to be a Super Bowl team, and that's what we want. Stick to Redskins.com for all your OTA coverage. This has been your Redskins in 60, presented by Coca-Cola. It was quite the busy weekend for the Washington Redskins Charitable Foundation, beginning on Friday afternoon as they hosted 315 students at the first place Redskins Read Celebration, which took place at Phyllis E. Williams Spanish Immersion School in Upper Marlboro, Maryland. Being the first place Redskins Read winner, the school was treated to a Redskins Read Rally and each classroom were given books, which will help enhance their bilingual library, along with a set of Chromebooks to use for various activities. Four Redskins players came out to celebrate with the teachers and students. Tight end Niles Paul, defensive lineman Anthony Lanier II, defensive lineman Joey Embu, and wide receiver Ryan Grant. The players had a fantastic time as they took part in a touchdown dance competition, a story writing relay, and a few special visits to some third and fourth graders. For the players, it was all about spending quality time with the students and letting them know how important reading really is. It's extremely important. I know growing up, my mother always used to make me read before I went to practice. And uh, uh, it almost it sometimes felt like a punishment, but the older I got, the more I realized how important it was and, 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 and how it helped excel me in the classroom. Speaking for myself, I used to read a lot and it helped me with my grades, you know, obviously. But uh, I think that they are interested in reading. I saw a lot of bright kids out there. They were throwing huge words out there that I didn't know at that age. So I think. Uh, Reading's a priority, especially for this school. The good times rolled on on Saturday as the Redskins Charitable Foundation, Barnes & Noble, and Everybody Wins DC hosted the 2017 Redskins Read Book Fair at the Barnes & Noble store at Tyson's Corner. The celebrity guest from the Redskins was none other than linebacker Ryan Kerrigan, who spent an hour reading books to children along with taking pictures and signing autographs for those in attendance. A percentage of all book purchases during the day will benefit literacy programs throughout the community. Ryan, how was it reading to the kids? Uh, you were into it and they were into it as well. It was a lot of fun. Uh, anytime you can pull out the Dr. Seuss and get those tongue twisters going, it's pretty fun. And this uh, particular group uh, seemed to know who you were and you had a couple of uh, real small Redskins fans who visited. How does that make you feel? It was, it was really cool. I mean, this is a good event. And it's uh, fun to get the, get the kids out here and get involved. And when you do something like this, it may be a little bit different uh, than Kerrigan's Corner where you're helping uh, kids who are physically in need, uh, you're trying to stimulate these kids. Could you speak on that a little bit? Yeah, I think this is a very important initiative, especially to, to reach the young kids and with, you know, promote literacy and uh, lifelong love of reading. So this is a very good event, and it's, uh, it's really cool that the uh, Charitable Foundation puts this on. 